three minutes? You don't have a book. You're not selling a book. You're not selling a website. No, I'm not yeah. selling a book. I, I really, you know, I've, every day is living a book, but I have not sat down and uh, written a book. Books kind of, um, this would be bigger than Five Gone with the Winds and all these pictures and stuff. I, I'm trying to maybe do a documentary and release to the to the world the truth. I saw the movie last night. It 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 was very sad and it was very pathetic and and it did not tell any truth. Um, probably Mick Jagger felt like he was going to be sued because James Brown hated Mick Jagger. Um, it just it, it you know the truth is hidden. It's buried under a. Uh, a black cloud, and it's uh, the public needs to start asking questions. Yeah, we got to get into this really paying attention. Yeah, but like how Mick Jagger got involved. Did did these two have a relationship? No, they. uh, uh, James Brown hated him. He called him the son of the devil. And uh, if you read the Globe this week, um, it has James uh, James Garner on the cover. Um, My story's in there about how much um, and James Brown's son about how he was murdered and, and how um, he hated Mick Jagger. James Brown's so son probably, was murdered. No, uh, James Brown's son was talking about how his father is murdered and um, they need to exhume the body. Okay, great. I'm now, not hold, the only one out there saying God. Okay, hold on now. Okay, we just had Jackie Hollander. Uh, we're going to continue with the after show. If you want to give us a call, 702-605-4894, or you can Skype me on ed.hopperman. Next week we got Steve Wick. It's a huge story about the, the Cotton Club murders with Robert Evans and Lainey Jacobs and uh, Roy Radin, who was involved with the Process Church and the Son of Sam murders and all kind of stuff like that. And Tiny Tim is involved in the story. All kinds of guys. I'm even going to ask, uh, after the we, we drop uh, Revolution Radio, I'm going to ask uh, if uh, uh, James Brown ever had any connections to Roy Radin. Because it seems like he would have been involved in those Warville shows. Okay, uh, Revolution Radio, goodbye. We'll see you next week. If you want to support the station, go to freedomsip.com and click on the...